It's the Konami snake. <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, hiss, hiss. Yep. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, it's packed with Linux y nonsense and a little bit of like, uh, we have one game that's not on Linux, but we're going to talk about it for good reason. Stick around for that. I'm Vin Stone joining you each and every Saturday night here in the little downtown Athens studio, along with Jordan Huang. Is it Kang? Kwang? I, like I said, I'm very limited on ways to mispronounce the last name. Mm-hmm. Schwing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, I, mo- most people just like start with just completely adding or removing new letters. Like, Sviangr? Yeah. You got to work it out. And that other person It's like Sriracha. Is one Pedro Mateus. Hello. Together with you, Shadow Realm Dynamics, stand up late. Helping us form Cocaine Fultron. Ladies and gentlemen. What's up? What's new? Um, I was kind of shocked, man. That uh, little sound card video I did and all that radio stuff. Like, I was like, oh, you know what? 10 people are going to watch that. 11,000 people did. <laughs> like, huh? That was pretty much my week. Me going, what are you people doing? I, I don't get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Radio stations, I guess. I, <laughs> radio station people going, so Linux is an option, is it? <laughs> It, it just goes to show I have zero idea what people are interested in. I don't think anyone does. Like, for all, for all the analytics and marketing, it's like, yeah, this guy is, like, making weird little patterns out of twigs. 20 million views live Yeah, every, that's the thing. The, the niche. You're never going to get, like, that viral video. The niche always ends up being a little bit bigger. <laughs> but I will say the people that, like, live in the fucking analytics, dude, their channels usually do a lot better than, like, eh, we're just going to do a random video. Like, whatever. Sure, yeah. It. Yeah. I'm a... <laughs> I'm not going to chase that dragon, man. Nay. Minecraft is starting. <laughs> we just got to get all the keywords in. Just, 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 just Minecraft? Just mine. Yeah. We, we just say Minecraft. We do Marklar. We do a, that for the swap for an hour. <laughs> no, it's like we, we, we just smash cut to just like Ven playing Minecraft. He's just punching some fucking oh, God. That's, that's And that's just the rest of this podcast. The thing I'm like, <laughs> I almost punched. The... I'm working on something right now that required me to install Fedora 40. So Ooh, I, sp- I spent the week with Fedora 40, which means for the first half of that first day, I sp- was making myself use GNOME. I almost threw my damn trackball. Uh, KDE, <laughs> Plasma, Plasma 6 is the default desktop. For the hell it is. Now, isn't it? No, no, that's a proposal, really? homie. I went, I went ah. and Googled that when I installed it. I'm like, ah, oh, this is KDE. It looks a lot like, hang on. To the Google. I'm like, oh. I, I thought that had one through, but I guess not. The, right. Yeah, uh, I think it would approve, so maybe it's not implemented as the default I did a yeah. default install. <laughs> All right, well. Gnome. Gnome. It's, Gnome. Ter- it's terrible. It's the worst. Which quickly became uh, XFCE. Rocks your fingers off as you use it. Really, my only complaint <laughs> about Fedora is sweet flying spaghetti monster. Your package names are a wee on the verbose side there. Just a They're little bit when it's diff- like Jack Pulse also pipe wire. And I was like, is this going to keep going? Yeah, it is. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh. I do take advantage of it because they got the pipe wire one and then they still have the old Jack ones there still. So like all the packages are still there. I get why they did it. It's nice. I you, you can tab complete DNF, though, which is oh, also you, nice. you can do the same thing on um, Debian. But like there's not like what one of them was six segments. It had five hyphens in it, and I'm like, that's a bit much. No, you, you need to install the John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt package, right? <laughs> well, I, 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 I didn't have time. I was going to, like, roll it out, and it was, like, packaged by Tom on Tuesday, who had breakfast for, you know. Just... And for some reason, the core package of SDL2 is capitalized. But, uh, like, the other SDL2, like SDL2 Mixer and what have yous, it's not capitalized, because... Fucking consistency. <laughs> I maintain the, uh, you know, it's like, this is what the future would look like if all distributions would just agree upon package names. Yep. Yeah. That would solve so many problems for everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then, but then there would be like two distributions because there would be like, no, we want the, the dash devs versus the dash devels. That's, that's the big split. Do you know what? Make that work with both DNF, Pac-Man. Yeah, you could, 
alias one to the yeah, other. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, just just meet them in the middle. It's just Div. It's like Steve, but Div. <laughs> Divil. Div. Div. Give me them Divs. Oh man, did you uh, have an exciting week, Jordan? I know uh, the world. Uh, we we celebrated not Blue Monday, but uh, Blue Friday. Yes. How does it feel to not have to worry about uh, antivirus patching? I mean, it's a damn shame because if it would have, if that had went down on a Monday, we would have gotten a resurgence. And yeah, I like that song. Well, they, they busted that out for that Wonder Woman eighty four trailer, but like that movie was doo doo. So I, the, the less we talk about that, the better. No, it's been it's been pretty dull. Most of the most of the home renovations are done, so it's just been it's just been quiet. I've been basking in my empty usable house that has no sounds of construction happening. Oh man. <laughs> nice and quiet. You could probably get back into playing some card games. I could. I, I am a, I'm a filthy stinking addict with a monkey on my back. And yeah, I, I, Does the monkey play, uh, um... the monkey plays <laughs> black, red, uh, sacrifice. And I'm not doing very well against it. Aww. Uh, yeah, I got back into the magics cause I guess this is my midlife crisis, right? Where, like, most people are going to buy, like, expensive cars or have an affair. I'm going to buy some fucking trading cards. Mm. I, fi- uh, I figured that's, well, like a, that's, a, that's a fairly <laughs> harmless midlife crisis. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, like, yeah. Somebody brought up, like, midlife is, like, yeah, 30. When you average it out to your life expectancy, it's not, like, 60, dude. You don't live to be 120. Yep. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, midlife, Mateus, what's going on? <laughs> mid- 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 middle-aged Mateus. Granted, my birthday was this week, but uh, <laughs> I'm only 38. Do you, need, do you need me to give you each of that in emojis, <laughs> youngster? No, but he, he needs to take his vitamin or else he's going to fall apart. Uh, that's the thing. My body still feels uh, about as mo- well. It's starting Don't to get a little fat like in my you're metabolism. Gonna in, you're like, going to be here next week and you're like, what happened? My arm fell off. <laughs> That's that's the the thing. Thing. Uh, double, double complete kidney failure. <laughs> clearly, my metabolism has slowed down a little bit, but uh, this started happening during the lockdown a few years ago, and uh, the belly just doesn't seem to want to go away anymore. So, yeah, <laughs> I got lots of advice on helping for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> All right. That'll never uh, snowball. Don't worry about it. You're safe. <laughs> just wash yourself with a rag on the stick. Yeah. Yeah. How much is I a rag a on a stick these days? It's nice we, it, Let's cream my back. <laughs> you listen to the pre-pre super shows and we immediately went right into like, how much are shake weights? Yeah, well, because well, it's like, yeah, yeah. Second hand shake weights. All right. they're, 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 well, and, and things have gotten more expensive over time. So it's yes. like, what you think a shake weight cost is actually like maybe two thirds of the price of what the actual shake weight costs these days. <laughs> uh, you can't you can't you can't shake the horse though you can try to weigh it but you have to like get it up all on the scale and you need like maybe a bucket or something i don't know it's the steam round one fight yeah. what kind of car do you want to fight if, if you had to fight a car what would it be um nissan 200 uh sx okay yeah, red <laughs> Definitely, I'd, I'd, I'd probably go for a smart car because, like, it'd pip that at least. Yeah, um, a smart car or smart uh, cars are venomous. Ooh, a Ford Ka. <laughs> they do, they do damage. They do poison damage. Oh no! <laughs> what are we talking about? Steam fighting game fest. If you're listening to this on a Monday, you better hurry the hell up and go ahead and jump into it because it ends on the 22 of July. 81 Linux titles in this one. I was like, all right, I'm really glad they finally added that. And Fantasy Strike has their core pack up at 70% off, and which made me go, whatever happened to Fantasy Strike? And I went and looked it up, and I'm like, oh, do you know what happened to Fantasy Strike? What, what no. happened to Fantasy Strike? I'm just throwing it out there. They made it free to play. Okay. Yeah, we talked all about right. that. Mm-hmm. It's free to play alone by yourself. Hmm. No players. You, you basically have to buy the I would like to play this with other people DLC now. <laughs> okay. Which is like 20 mm. bucks, dude. So oh, you watch that chart. We're going to be pulling up a lot of Steam charts tonight, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> it just phew, fell off right there. And I was like, oh, that's a shame, dude. They, they were trying to do something with that. And there's eight people playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was already not doing terribly well. I know so. I joke. 
a lot on this show. There's genuinely eight people playing it yesterday. <laughs> and they will kick your ass. That's the other problem, too. I, so if I you want to if you want to pick that up, I hope of hopes that's the case. And it wasn't just the eight people who bought it and didn't know about Steam charts. They, they, they left it running <laughs> three years ago and it's still it's still yeah. like, let's they, get into the game and like waiting to play match. I don't know, man. Uh, a lot of brawling games in here. You know, they're very like a wide berth with this. You know, your typical fighters, your MK1s, your Grand Blues and stuff like that, your DBZs. But then you got things that you wouldn't think about, right? Uh, not me, like Game Beast. I'm like, well, okay, that's a fighting game. That's on sale. That's pretty cool. Did you see anything that was a... Uh... Paint the town red. We uh, threw oh, yeah. chairs at it back in the day. And the roguelike mode for that game is genuinely fun. I will die on that hill. Uh, and if it was on sale, I would say, yeah, go grab that. Paint the town red was fun. It's not on sale. Boo. Uh-huh. <laughs> But you can get a great deal on, actually, there's not, most of the great deals are on dead games, which kind of sucks, especially mm-hmm. for fighting games, because um, even if they're brawling games, they're usually like party games, uh, you know, 60% off Game Beast, but a lot of it's like your step, 2025, I don't even think counts as a sale during a promoted Steam sale, I don't think. Shovel Knight Showdown, half off, that's not bad. Hey, Vanguard Princess is not on sale, but it's listed. All right. Good on it's, it, it's a fighting game. It's it's the festival. I I, yep. I I don't know. It is a very bold move to not try and discount your game during the festival about the game. You're like, no, this is good enough that if you are a diehard fighting game player, you will pay a full price for this and you will get your value. That's it's, it's a bold statement. I don't know if it's true or not, but I, I went looking for like, is there a new fighting game? Like, I'm tempted. I, I think I enjoy watching somebody play Street Fighter Six. I don't think I would necessarily get into it. And I think I'm just smart enough to stay away from the Dragon Ball stuff. Because I might get sucked into that. You just, you just play all Nappa all the time. Mm. <laughs> Look, Vegeta, <laughs> a Pokemon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm devoid of nostalgia, so I don't have any, like, you could fire up MAME and play. Like, you, I don't understand MAME with like fighting games because if you're playing by yourself, that AI was designed to kick your ass and cheat. It was to mm-hmm. suck quarters out of you. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> somebody did the uh, breakdown code analysis of reverse engineered the MK2 and it just cheats. It, like, it, 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 block, it detects what your input is and then counters or they it. They all do input reading. No, it changes hitboxes and does oh. like grabs and stuff like un- unblockable <laughs> grabs. Oh, great. Yeah. So yeah, so- it really was fucking you up and it wasn't your fault, dude. I'm like, oh man! <laughs> the, 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 it's always it's always validating when it's like, yes, the game was cheating. Mm. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about sucking. <laughs> yeah, I I feel bad that that twenty dollars I came into the arcade with is now gone. Oh, uh, you got twenty bucks, dude? I'd get like five. Yeah, yeah. It was it was like here's five euros. <laughs> Trade that for coins. That's all you're getting for tonight. And you had to be selective too, <laughs> man. You're like, okay, yeah, I mean, that's where you start learning to like maximize fun. You know, Sega what, yeah. It was all Sega Rally all night for me. <laughs> well, this is one of the reasons I got into like Soul Edge, dude, because I knew I could stay alive in that game for a minute, just like spamming um the sword guys overhead. Mm. You, you could get pretty far before the game ratcheted it up. Let us know. What do you play? Do you play any fighting games on Linux? Like when I say fighting games, like you know, Street Fighter type stuff. Do you play Skull Girls or do you just don't? Do you play Street Fighter Six on your Skull Steam Girls? Deck? Is a good game. That, yeah. That's one of those games that you can probably, if you like fighting games, you can probably play it on nightmare difficulty with and finish it with all the characters. I did that, and I'm not major fighting game buff, but the moment I went online and got my ass <laughs> kicked. <laughs> It's like okay, no, uh, there's a there, there's a big difference there. See that, that, that's there's, just why I'm interested wall. in yeah. things like Street Fighter Six. When you got a or you know the latest tech, and when you have that large of a player base, it can match you against somebody going. Wait, which button did the that thing again? <laughs> and yeah, and, and I think like that. That's always been the challenge of matchmaking is like creating that like skill curve so that people can like get. Mm-hmm have an opportunity to get good and have like a good balance of wins and losses to start understanding like this is how you win a game this is why you lose the game and yeah 
when you slide into fucking them's fighting herds and there's like the three guys who play that fucking game and right. they just like wombo combo you there's only so much you can take away from just getting insta gibbed right oh there is man and like this is something that you even learned way back in the day i remember you know playing quake you would hop into a server and you're like nope I am not good enough for this one. Let's go find another one. And hopefully you would find one with like two. And it was so great when you like logged into a server and you were the good one. Mm. <laughs> and you could at least experience what it felt like to just run over the noobs. And I'm like, yeah, it's awesome. Then somebody who was mildly competent would show up and just start wrecking. You're like, this is yeah. fun. I like, get, no, that's not that's not how this works. You're supposed yeah. to just stand still while I right. shoot you in the brain. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, it was like playing us with like Steam controllers. It was kind of fun. <laughs> Speaking of Steam controllers, we're never going to get one, but the closest thing that we have is a Steam Deck. It, it is basically the newest iteration of a Steam controller. And if you've been using your Steam Deck a lot as your, like, maybe it's the one gaming machine you have, you just have the cheapo laptop that you got from school. And you have a Steam Deck as your gaming machine, you probably want to do some maintenance on it. Even if it's nothing terribly fancy like taking it apart, just cleaning out the uh, little oh, yeah. bits to get the fluff and I'm everything at else. My micro SD card, I'm like, I wonder what that'd look like in two pieces. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> well, uh, maybe it's uh, Valve should start doing like Nintendo and uh, sell the uh, coded ones. But uh, this, this doesn't come from Valve, this comes from iFixit. It's, they only have one left, apparently, in the US. Uh, the UK store has no such uh, limitation on it, apparently. But it's a little kit that comes with this little egg basket with a DSD strap, a um, screwdriver with the replaceable bits with the three bits that you actually need, a plastic uh, prying tool, some tweezers, uh, a big brush with anti-ESD uh, bristles, the little toothpicks that you use to uh, pry bits of plastic apart, and uh, what's that? Eight uh, precision brushes that you can get into, say, the D pad creases or the little b bits around the um, analog sticks or the areolas. Well, they're not round anymore, so crack pads. <laughs> Square <laughs> but, squareolas. Uh, squareolas, yes. Uh, you can get those. Um, precision brushes all up in there to get all the fluff out and maintain your Steam Deck and keep your system running as well as it can for as long as you can. So it, it's not terribly expensive either, which is nice. <laughs> 13 bucks is very reasonable. No, for, that's yeah. very affordable. I mean, looking at it, but it, it, they got the cheap spudgers, man. They yeah. got the cheap spudgers, which if you have experience taking apart Electra, I mean, what a one, two, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Six, yeah. Six. <laughs> I like to call those single use because they get so chewed up. I mean, unless you got a floppy deck. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, I would like some like better spudgers than that because uh, sometimes just getting into that, it's good to know that the uh, Steam Deck has uh, such loose tolerances. It's very easy to uh, get the, it The apart. back is uh, actually held on with self-tapping um, plastic screws, yes. Yeah. And you... They they specifically said once you take it apart, it will never be as firm and rigid as it was originally because yeah, self tapping screws. Stuff even. That's kind of the nature of the beast. <laughs> now here's the real question: Has anybody ever used that dumbass wrist strap? I had to use not that ironically in, in school. It was part or of a under test. Under duress. <laughs> not under duress. <laughs> You gotta put this ESD strap on or I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. Or we're gonna fail you. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> well, you're, you're gonna lose know. the one mark for not putting on the strap, but... It's like, I always do, once I start digging into something, I always touch... Usually it's the case on the uh, desktop PC, because that, that's what the power supply is connected to, so... Tap a piece of metal, right? That. There. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> uh... If I don't know, man. Like, I I've, don't think I... Yeah, you know what? If, if, if you're instructing I have complex armies... emotions about this, Jordan. Give me a fucking minute. <laughs> God damn. Fine. No. Pro process. <laughs> the, process. Um, would I quit? Uh, here's what I'm trying to think. I'm like, 
you know, I guess it's better than nothing if people don't know how to do that. Right. But it's and it, so far from a requirement. Like every PC build up, build I've ever done, like I was thinking like, oh, should I have? I'm like, no, like, yeah, and you're good. It's one of those things where like, if you're telling new people to do it, it's like, yeah, you know, if, you, if you're telling Joe, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, who's wearing his wool socks and like the most staticky <laughs> clothing possible. Yeah, maybe he should like put on the fucking bracelet. Uh, and you just want to you want to hedge those bets and just include that as part of the instructions. The people who know will be like, yeah, I'll, I'll touch a piece of metal. But, you know, Joe Normie, who's trying to fix the Steam Deck and has little chunks of plastic all over the place because he couldn't quite get the get the back of it off as easily as possible. Might might need a little extra support. I, I think the moral of the story is don't like don't don't take your <sighs> see. Listen to me being responsible. You know what? Take that shit apart. Don't listen to adult Vin. Rip it apart. Find out what's inside. If it breaks, it breaks. Deal with it. It's only seven hundred dollars Canadian. Yeah. yeah, you can three D print replacement parts because uh, Valve were kind enough to provide <laughs> the complete uh, replacement. Yeah, it's, uh, not if you jam a spudger <laughs> through the CPU. Well, no. <laughs> I know but you a can company... buy the replacement on. Uh, I fix it. <laughs> no. Let's talk about forks. Forks are important. Yeah, it's a good way for like software. To get split off or added to or recombobulated. No, no, no. I am <laughs> really going to talk about Fork, so. Because Fork OS. It's another Steam OS because we can't get Steam OS and download wow, it. Put it on our what are you doing? <laughs> That's not. Um, this is minimal changes to Steam OS. So they want to be able to preserve upstream compatibility, which is good. And it does support booting from removable media. Also dope. And it's originally based on Hollow ISO. This is where it gets interesting, though. Device support. Not only do you have your GPDs, you got your INEOs, you got your Atari VCS, and you got whatever the hell EINs are. The Loki Max and the Loki Zero. Oh. You know, I, think, I, 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 th I, think, I think we've heard about those. These are just like other, yes. other handheld PCs. Things that exist. It's got a pretty cool screen, like, you know, just like looking through it. <sighs> Pedro, why do we need this? Tell me about it. <laughs> Well, uh, the uh, person responsible for this uh, is uh, Foot, uh, one Hoots? Andrew Wyatt, a former uh, head of... Um, Foot Duntu? Yes, <laughs> former head of the Fuduntu project, and uh, I have been in the um, <laughs> Discord that's been uh, developing this for a while, but I've been deliberately staying away from it, just... Mostly oh, so you're lurking. still in the community. Yes. <laughs> I'm just lurking and I'm uh, looking at people uh, developing it and mostly Fute uh, doing a bunch of the testing because he has a bunch of these uh, devices. So I really do want this to succeed because Valve isn't releasing SteamOS anytime soon. So uh, yeah, just make Holo ISO work better. And probably we'll have less articles like the one from the XDA developers people that try to use <laughs> as a, uh, a desktop um, operating system, and it didn't go terribly well. He's working uh, on it right now. I do. I do appreciate <laughs> Fute's line in the sand about like, no, there's not going to be any RGB. You're going to get a low battery warning. That's all you're getting. Oh yeah, RGB disabled by default. Yeah, huh? it's like, off by default. You can turn it on, uh, but yeah. by default it turns off. To save battery because th it's They're, a handheld device. You want that battery. And, and, and you know, wisely keeping Pedro away from it this time in an attempt to spare <laughs> the project from his Black Widow-esque powers. Yeah, no, I don't want it to die, so I'm deliberately staying away from it. <laughs> Go give it a try. Won't cost you anything. And uh, yeah, it's good. But yeah, Valve. Like, I get it. Valve doesn't want to release it. And why? Is, like, they, they don't want to open it up. Why? Because then all of a sudden, guess what's going to be on the ROG as a downloadable? You know, you're like, yeah. <laughs> I, I get it, Valve, but come on. But, but also, I kind of want that feature because that just means more Linux on more computers. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not seeing the downside. I, mm -hmm. I'm really not. I wonder if that's like a Valve thing that there are actually. Companies like Ioneo and Ein and the other ones going to Valve is like, okay, so we want SteamOS proper. Ooh, what do we got to do? And they probably have like a laundry list of stuff that they want people but, to do, and, and they're looking and, at and, it and, going, and, 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 and Valve is like, Valve time. We'll we'll get it done. <laughs> we'll, 
We promise <laughs> that that work will be completed. We will not tell you when, but it will get done. I can definitely <laughs> see. Things, they take time. I can definitely see Valve like being cool enough. They're like, all right, I'd like uh, let's say Aya. Aya comes in, they're like, hey, we got this device. We'd like to put the SteamOS. And Valve's like, that's cool. To what Pedro was saying, they're like, okay, well, you need to make sure you get, uh, before we can even start on this, you're going to have to get Linux drivers for these six components. And Aya goes, bye. <laughs> yeah, no, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely see that. Let's talk about a couple of new games. Uh, we're going to see how short the internet's memory really is. So this is one of these weird little situations. Enlisted is back on Steam. You might have asked where it went. And I might have asked that as well, because this doesn't seem like it's like any objectionable content. It's an MMO shooter uh, where you fight in World War II. There's a million of these freaking games on Steam. The issue was twofold. Number one, when it originally launched, it was launched as a $20 game. Um, and Valve likes their whole uh, most favored nation thing. So when your game costs money on Steam and is available free elsewhere, uh, they're not too big a fan of that. Uh, that and their whole um, migration of stuff from their existing server inf and account infrastructure over to Steam's did not go so well. So uh, it got, long story short, it got taken down. Now it's back. It is a free-to-play game on Steam. You get the DLC, so nothing's actually missing. You just have to buy it now. And it works, apparently. So maybe this is good after-show bait. It kind of reminds me a bit of, like, Verdun meets World of Tanks, or at least that one Sabaton World of Tanks music video. I think, like, a lot of people, <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, I've already played this. And, like, just to go back to what you were saying, the way I read it was... When we first talked about this, this game was free with a $20 DLC when they first put it up on Steam. And they're like, it's a free game, but you gotta, you're forced to buy this DLC if you want to. Like, it was a package deal. Right. It was one of those things. And I don't know if Valve took it down or they, like, mm. disappeared themselves. Of like, okay, the internet, let's come back and do take two. I downloaded it, though. Now, the first thing that shocked me was people are playing this. Look at this. Boop, boop, boop. It's, it's available now, I guess. So yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's really a free game now. You can just go jump in. You're like, I want to go get my World War II shooter on, and like, oh, I'll try it out. You know, it's got four thousand people in right now. It's been averaging like three thousand. Like, that's not too bad. That's 40. just the Steam numbers because it was already available outside of Steam for free for the longest time. So there's more. <laughs> yeah, like I'm sure it's got a big enough community, and it's forty four gigs to download. It's a little spicy. It. That that's a lot for like the graphical fidelity of looking at this, but then again, you know, it's nothing like what was the, uh, geez, how big was that game? Like 120 gigs or some Call of Duty Bros that's coming out, which was like ludicrous. Um, it launched, and I remembered why I never played it the first time. Two reasons: one, it launched across all three of my monitors. <laughs> one big unresizable window. However, a little bit of an improvement. Yeah. I could click on the get into game button. It's like, oh, 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 I couldn't get to it last time. And I clicked on it. I'm like, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. And it wanted me to go to an external website, create an account to play. <laughs> so in related news, it uninstalled perfectly fine. No complaints. <laughs> I hate that. I will bounce off your game. I would probably refund a game today if i downloaded it an account's bad enough but if i have to leave the game because the technology exists for me to create an account inside a game steam makes those tools available if i gotta go to an external website in order to do that unless it's like an mo or some bullshit like that that that's a different category but like that i'm done just uninstalled it pedro you love going to external websites and creating accounts. Yes, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Almost as much you know, as you maybe. love folders in your home directory. <laughs> I very much love that too. Uh, but yeah, no, me, the person who goes, wait, so I have to make that account to play? No, I'm out. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's not... A, Valve shouldn't be allowing that. Uh, and B, uh, don't do that. Don't Don't make people create third-party accounts just to get into your game just 
But it's Gaijin Entertainment. What could be the harm of creating? <laughs> it worked great for Helldivers, didn't it? <laughs> didn't it, you guys? They, they are the, 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 the world of... What is it? Is it World of Tanks or uh, the other one? Probably War Thunder. World. One of War, the... War Thunder is the leaked military uh, Wikipedia. Yes. <laughs> I know one of them is made by uh, or published by Gaijin Games. Let me see. Uh, do Gaijin Network. Gaijin's the War snail. Thunder. Yeah. War Thunder. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Up next. Yeah, also, uh, Cursed Cuisine Royale, which we did play on the after show. And, uh, right, yeah, I, I, I remember us getting assassinated in our little go-kart uh-huh. together. <laughs> oh, yes, right? <laughs> now, uh, let, let's drive down there. Blam! Hey, the, where's the car going? Blam! Blam! Well, we, we had fun, like, running around trying to figure out what the hell was going on, but then we found the car, then the game just turned into us, like, riding in the car. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're very, very simple creatures. Whatever. Go download it, go play it. Everything works on deck, 100%. 100% of your games work on deck. <laughs> Will your NVIDIA drivers work on deck? No, no, no. So here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> uh, how, how do we want to put this? We did it, Reddit. You're bitching, complaining, and moaning online. Us collectively have forced and scared NVIDIA into bending the knee by pressure from forum posts, social media, and the like. They just couldn't the take com- it anymore. You've the hurt their feelings was savage. of the leather jacket itself. <laughs> ah, somehow I don't think that was really it. But hey, NVIDIA is actually uh, not just supporting the open source uh, kernel modules that they had. They're doubling down. They're making them official. The newest uh, architectures... Uh, Blackwell and Gracehopper are going to be first and foremost defaulting to the open modules, which is awesome, which is great. They do say it's like, yeah, the open modules, they're still only supported from Turing and up, which is unfortunate. But having, you know, the, the actual proprietary blob running via the uh, same open source kernel modules that NVK can use gets NVK that very same level of kernel support that the proprietary driver already had. And yeah, the the difference at that point is basically what each individual driver can bring. Granted, if you're doing any kind of compute or encode with NV encode or CUDA, whatever, you probably want to use the um, proprietary driver still. But if you're only playing games, NVK is... (laughs) Okay, there's still the the bit that if you're on a laptop and uh, you're not plugged into power, the moment your GPU goes, I'm going to use the full power, it just cuts uh, and shuts down the laptop to (laughs) prevent any uh, unsafe power draws. But plugged in and for desktops, it's almost there. It is genuinely almost there. And it's impressive that NVK made as, as much progress as it did. And this... With NVIDIA going, yeah, no, the, the open source modules are the way to go. That's just icing. They that's are. Just, that's great. <laughs> and it's coming spoon. We're talking about the 560 drivers, people, that you're going to be able to play around with transitioning to open source GPU kernel modules. Love it. Hell, like Pedro said, it's going to be mandatory on Hopper and Blackwell. Like, you don't have option B. you got to use the open ones. And Maxwell, Pascal, Volta, we're going to pretend that more than 10 of those cards were made. Uh, they can get, just get wrecked. Scrub, you use whatever you can find, you know, outside, out back. Go deal with it. $5,000 Titan V, no. <laughs> Come on, man. It's not for gaming, Pedro. Uh, <laughs> however, what's got me most excited is I can't wait for the internet to tell me why it's not good enough. So I want you to do that in the comments. Let me know why this isn't good enough, because I know the isn't good enough crowd is going to come out in force for this. Also, they added some uh, extra smarts to the run file. And when it does come down to CUDA, you should be able to use this with CUDA. Don't think that's going to be a problem. They put some smarts in there. And like the CUDA stuff can get a little tricky if you're installing that from the run file because it comes prepackaged with the NVIDIA driver that it wants to run with. They'll get it sorted. Typical NVIDIA stuff. And uh, you're excited. Uh, we, we got some good news out of your AI apocalypse. That I, I, mean, I mean, yeah. Now, wished now, into <laughs> existence. Well, I, I mean, I, I think that's, summoned that's accidentally. really... I summoned it. Yes, it's, it's all my fault. It was an I, accident. I tried to summon Mega Ultra Chicken, but instead, 
I just got Olama 3. No, uh, but I guess like, yeah, that, that's the one fringe benefit about the AI apocalypse is that NVIDIA is finally seeing the writing on the wall. Folks are gonna need to actually be able to see the driver code if they want to squeeze everything they can out of those multi-thousand dollar GPUs for your uh, machine learning shit. Um, I will say, uh, at the end of there, just like, yeah, if you want to install this on Fedora, just DNF install NVIDIA drivers. Mm -hmm. That's that's weird. It's it's welcome, but it's weird. I guess the the other thing I'm I'm curious about is like there is a lot of game specific code in the prop drivers. So I do wonder once everything cuts over to the open source modules, are we going to be losing some of that or will there be like, we'll be like, yeah, you know, you may want to, for the games X, Y, and Z, you do want to be on proprietary drivers for these other games, NVK or whatever works fine. I think that's going to accelerate like we saw with AMD open source drivers, the, you know, having a GitHub or the equivalent to be like, hey, this doesn't work with the NVK team. And they're going like, boom, all right, we're on this and we're going to keep it rolling, keep it updated. Oh I yeah, think, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's going to happen, but there's definitely going to be like a, like a transitionary. Period. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're going to run into problems. Like I have no illusion there. Like their AMD had the same problem, you know, going from the FGL RX to, a, I mean, AMD also had the advantage of like FGL RX also didn't really work. So anything was an improvement over yes, that. So it was, well, it was kind of rougher because it worked less at the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which was kind of rough. And uh, yeah, the, the moment that Mesa got to the point where. Yes, the performance was still technically worse than what you could theoretically get out of FGLRX if you got FGLRX working properly, which most people never did because documentation was bad, and uh, even if you followed the exact recommendations from what they said, no, the, you have to have this operating system, and these packages like the GIMP help files installed. Mm -hmm. um, if you have all of those, uh, it, it should work, and people are just like, yeah, I have that exact same configuration, and it's not working, and they just outright closed the tickets. There was a time when we we were eagerly watching the Mesa Matrix website, just yes. watching that yeah. OpenGL four point five like and four point six thing fill in, be like, no, this is oh, not going to be so anywhere close. near that rough. Um, yeah. Collabora has been doing a lot of heavy lifting, but mm -hmm. they have. Yeah. You know, I would really like to see him open this up for older cards because, like, on my test bench, I have a older Quadro that yeah, it, with the um, Nuvo drivers, it's a hard sell for that uh, four gig uh, card to do 1080p. I, I guess a lot of desktop. this is it, it's dependent on like the GSP firmware. So unless until we can get like uh, like an alternative for that in mm -hmm. like Maxwell and lower. We're kind of stuck. And NVIDIA has zero interest of like, yeah. wait, no, no, no. We much yeah. see, we have a solution for you, Ben. What you can do is buy this new, we don't call them quadros anymore. We call them ahs. <laughs> ah, 4,000. Ah, because that's what you see when you see, when you see the price. You go, ah. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of wild. Now, this, by this time next year, I, I will put my tree fitty down and say, because especially you like to see it on Reddit, is the, uh, Hey, should I get AMD or uh, NVIDIA or basic? You got to get AMD because NVIDIA cards don't work under Linux and they're dumpster fire and all that. And like, I'm just like, it amazes me that people like to self report their skill issues. <laughs> but once the NVIDIA cards are effectively, hey, I don't have to do any Linux thing in order to play my games, I believe that entire conversation around. You know, because that, that, that's that been armored in open and closed source this entire time, that, that argument, like that seed of it. And they're like, no, don't get the NVIDIA card because it's closed source. When I think the core of that argument was, don't get the NVIDIA card because you might have to do some Linuxing in order to get it to work while the AMD ones effectively plug and play. So I think by this time next year, that's all going to be gone. I, I, th I think it's definitely going to bring it more into a what is the card that you can afford, which I think is really the, the oh, question yeah. that we mm -hmm. what, that we want this to boil down to is like, what is the one that fits your budget? Not what is the one that's going to work in your particular the, um, use case? One thing I brought up, I, we were talking about doing some um, stuff with uh, Turbo because he's working on that uh, LLM AI thing with a mm -hmm. keyboard, not a keyboard, but the clipboard thing, his project. And it came down to it as it's. I know very few people. No, I said it as a blanket statement to be funny. I says I don't think anybody's ever bought an AMD when they could afford Nvidia. I don't know. I could I could afford the Nvidia card. I just didn't want to pay the Nvidia price. That's what I'm saying. Like 
You yeah, know, when I bought the 6700 XT, I had 400 currency units to spend on a GPU, and NVIDIA told me to uh, fuck off. Oh, that's the old thing. I, I, and, and, like, I honestly, I don't give a shit about ray tracing, or uh, I, I'll, I'll play around with a little bit of the ML stuff, but, like, I'm not buying it specifically for that. I, might I have to play strongly it. suggest do not taste DLSS 2, much less 3. Don't do it. Blah, blah, blah. It's fucking amazing. Um, <laughs> nah, I got, I got, now, now, now we got the frame generation, baby. We can cheat with AI. But now you got the frame generation. Then you got to install the anti lag to make up for your frame generation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a simpler time when AMD was the value brand. Now AMD is the slightly less than the NVIDIA brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, come on, Intel. Come on, Battle Mage. Prove us all fucking wrong. Intel's uh, a bit more worried about their CPU. I don't think they are, <laughs> Right <man>. now. <laughs> I, here's what Intel's going to do, because like this doesn't affect Xeons. This is only like the <laughs> i7s. If you don't know, Intel's having a meltdown. There's a, we talked about it. I tried to talk about it last week, and these guys were like, um, but they're going to run into a real issue with that this year. All they got to do, though, is keep sending these people replacements until the warranty expires <laughs> and then go buy, go buy a new one yeah and they're, that is going to be the most intel strategy of whatever they're like all right we got some of these laying around all right fine because yeah. that one gaming company they were using they weren't using xeon these were like they hit racked i7s well you know and i'm like all right sure here take some more <laughs> all right call us when those mess up <laughs> we'll give you some more and apparently they did after six months <laughs> Retro Achievos. This yeah, is you... the quite possibly the most horrifying dolphin image <laughs> in the history of um, monotone <laughs> dolphin images. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> he's got. He's, he's he's got that like dead eye stare. He does. Yeah. He looks a little upset, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, I thought they had the new the new logo. What happened now? Now now it looks like you got in a car I mean, accident. The, the new logo is there. It's on the top left of the picture. Yeah. yeah why, why 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 isn't he holding the controller then? Yeah. So game game achievements in retro games. When I first heard this, I had a very visceral reaction to this. Of like, <laughs> ew, why are you polluting my perfect retro games with achievements? And then I thought, you know, people are already fucking doing this. Welcome to the speedrunning community. Uh, where everyone is basically just creating their own achievements and you have no proof of you filling them unless you're actually live streaming your game. Retro achievements uh, is now a thing where people are able to like plug it into old game, game games and like get achievements in your old Street Fighters and Mortal Kombats. Now they are adding them into uh, Dolphin games as well. Now, at first for the GameCube games, the Wii games are coming. They got a decent list of stuff at the moment, uh, which is not in front of me, but yeah, they're adding them into Dolphin. Uh, you're gonna, you may need to create a new save because it may not infer the achievements based on your existing save because I think it looks for specific game events or like shit mm -hmm. happening in memory. But yeah, if you want, you can now have your Pikmin One achievements if you really want to show off your EPIN. I it's horrible. Like I agree completely. Um, we we shouldn't be modifying older games. The emulator should only do the original resolution and no graphic upscaling. I, I uh, want to play that shit. You should only be able to play it with original controllers or keyboard. That's the only option. And it requires original controllers. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Original media and original peripherals. Yes, yes. It, yes, it only starts if you have the disc in the drive. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it, it is acceptable to play it on a keyboard because that's just terrible and no one wants to do that shit. No, it, so. It's, it's got to be the Mario type keyboard, though. No, it, no yes. it's uh, yeah, arrow keys and ZX uh, CV. Those are your buttons. <laughs> I mean, I'm down with this. Like, I give no cares about achievements. Achievements are those things that pop up while I'm playing a game, and like every now and then, when I'm done playing a game, I'll be like, "Hey, look, I got, I got those. Look at that. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's my relationship with them. I don't think I've ever like set out now, not for achievements, but like I went out of my way before in games to like uh, we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, the new old near. Where you got to go through mm -hmm. it the third time and like to get that ending. And I got like a quarter of the way, you know, I got the first ending, I got the second ending, and on my third playthrough, I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I've done stuff like that, but never to the okay, Stanley Parable. 
Go outside. Stanley Parable, I have a lot. Did not change my clock. And Ryan C. Gordon is the reason I have that achievement. Because he was like, ooh, it's getting almost that time. And I went and checked my time. And I was like three weeks away. <laughs> so I set a reminder. And I got to reply back. And I'm like, legit got that. Me too. I'm like, oh yeah, I still have a, is, is it about time I booted it up? You get the achievement. Yeah, yeah, for me, it's always been one of those things where like, you do something in a game and then an achievement pops up and you're like, oh, well that's nice. Yeah, but yeah, much like everything else, uh, that's kind of been ruined by those games that shit achievements like their uh, chocolate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, mm, chocolate that, shit. it absolutely, uh, that, that, that's the correlation, yes. Uh, <laughs> The um, but I can also Don't see. Listen to him. Don't listen to Pedro. He's <laughs> Pedro's a bad man. It's okay. Go. Yeah, Dude, I can Dude, also Cody see Clicker has like legit lore though. That that shit goes deep. I can also see why people, especially the people who are into retro games, and I did like the uh intro bit that they had in the post to say, "No, these are two fairly recent uh Nintendo consoles." And then September 14th, 2001 is when the GameCube was released. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it, a lot of people were already using retro achievements via retro arch because, you know, it's, it's a good way to uh, have that kind of functionality. Uh, it, it's it's a good way to encourage thing. people to play the games again. Because yeah. then you'd be like, yeah, you know, get 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 some achievements. You may have played this a bunch as a kid. Can you do this special challenge? You may have cheesed mm-hmm. it at first, but are you good enough now? Like, and community driven uh, community driven achievements also have the bonuses. Like, okay, so we'll create an achievement that if you hit this, you're, you know, right up there with all of the other players who. Uh, I have nothing else better to do. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, like a leaderboard on, or a scoreboard. Like a, yeah. a letterboard or something like that of like addictive mechanics in games though. With achievements. Well, that gets somebody to play a game too much because they're trying to and they don't have that control. And now but the achievements a, have been added. I think for uh, achievement hunting for something like old games that don't require you to money down for it specifically so it's like a money thing uh, i think money Is makes it worse be yes worse. <laughs> yeah. and i mean like what they're if, if if they were going to uh become addicted to playing a game to like get a specific achievement or like i i, I don't know are, are, are you saying that like just the idea of trying to do a game uh do a run in a specific way is enough to get someone to just obsess over it uh, uh, Nonstop. If I it's guess. one of those crazy achievements, and there's plenty of crazy achievements where you gotta like pull off a very particular chain of thing that you're probably not gonna be able to accomplish until like a yeah, minimum 50, 60, 100 hours into the game. That's I, why I, only like 0.08% of people have them, you know? And the, that's not the whole point of achievements is to get people to keep playing your game, right? Yeah. But but I, yeah, I mean like if if if, they, if they're just playing the one game in exclusion to other games is that is that a problem? Or they're that's just, all they're they just doing. really like like if that yeah. uh, basically anything becomes to me something is a problem or an addiction like if it interferes with your ability to like function you know in your life right like it starts taking away from like oh I missed work or if, you if, know like, or I, relationship I, I don't know, if, stuff. If you cannot function without having a little pop up that says you have you are one step closer to your goal, I mean, there's there's like apps on your phone that can like hijack your brain into doing that, right? Oh, push notifications. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. There, there, there's like um, it's like adventure journaling or something where it's like turn your life into an MMO and like brush your teeth to gain 500 experience, and you brush your teeth and you gain 500 experience, and it like tricks you into like being a functional human by gamifying it. So I don't know. And then selling your data, that's how they make the money. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, there's the Again, $200 the, Bluetooth enabled dark, toothbrush, but... The dark side of all of this is like, oh, you're selling my shit to make money. But, all but, right. but, 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 but again, this Pedro, is for, for, how for, dare for you imply that not everything's black and white? Come on, man. <laughs> but, but for retro achievements, like, where, where is the risk? J- Johnny69 2020 on the retro achievement boards is not like, oh, I'm going to put this achievement in there in, the, in Super Mario Galaxy, and this is going to ruin someone's fucking life. Just my I, 
I would like to read a story of how I would a borderline I, malicious achievement. I hope uh, this never happens. And like, this is just complete like, oh, no, everybody's but coming summer 2025. The achievement, the chief is that going to be the, uh, <laughs> the chief starring Jason Statham? Because like after the beekeeper got blown up, he's going to be like the builder now. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the next one. No, it, it, the it's plumber. the chief. I'm starring not joking. Cheech Marin. Not joking. So, uh, I, this kind of gave up this week and I'm like, Hmm. It reminded me. Uh, I think Jordan was the first person to ever tell me about these, uh, the hit box. Yes. Leverless joysticks. Yeah. Uh, you know, no sticks, no sticks, just buttons. And I'm like, not really into fighting games anymore. Probably for the, for the best, you know, I was in my youths. Uh, I looked it up and I'm like, that's really fascinating playing a fighting game using nothing but buttons. Then I saw the price on those things like 200 bucks. Get the hell out of here. I'm not spending 200. It shelved until now when I ran across a flat box, a low profile hitbox layout flight stick. Look at those buttons. They're just keys. They're just regular keyboard keys. Oh man. You can that, put different that, uh, cherry you, switches under them. Yeah. You can play with your toes. That seems like. You Always with you straight to the toes. for toe. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah. P- Pedro Quentin Tarantino Mateus. Obsessed with feet. <laughs> Teen toes. Uh, Totit. What is it? What is the pizza? To- Toti- Totino's pizza rolls? Yeah. I don't know. There's a way My to work that out. hungry guys. Dude. Uh, <laughs> this guy has come up. Not with one. That's, that's, that's There's seven revisions of this bad boy. Mm-hmm. With caveats. <laughs> yes. Well, well so, so the, the, the PS4 support slash PS5 support is a little sketchy on uh, the, those that are listed as having support. I couldn't quite find out because I, I looked through all the, the, the notes here. They don't quite say what the caveats are, but you may need to unplug and replug. Yeah, uh, no, I'll tell you what it is. And buy a PC scrub. <laughs> Get wrecked. Yeah, Pretty that, easy the build thing. on these. And, you know, if this one, the... Rev 7's even got a LiPo battery built into it. Not built into it. You go buy one, go to Adafruit, pick one up. 3D printable all the way down to the buttons. Love to see this. CCBYSA 4.0. And really all you need to do is get the PCB. Like all this stuff you can get done online. Get Mm -hmm. the PCB made, get the uh, case, the buttons. You know, if you get a 3D printer laying around, do that or ship it off. Get like a really nice. uh, And what do you need? Yeah, a Zao. uh, Yeah, Seed Studio Zao. For the Bluetooth, good to go. Uh, I'm probably going to be building one of these for interfacing Linux. Spoilers, you can go back and listen to the pre-pre super shows and if you want to know more about that. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what that's going to end up being price-wise, right? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I could stick with, because I've got to get the cherry keys and like the clicky keys, because, hey, hypocrite old man Vin, my fucking controller needs to click. Those you, key. You, you, you need the auditory response. Typing? Uh uh-uh, uh. I want perfect silence. I don't want to make noise. That shit? Yep. Yeah, 100% hypocrite on that one. So I'll, I'll be shopping around for the switches. It'll be, for me, it'll be interesting to see what my bill sells. Because you, you could build a real jiggly, manky one, I'm sure. You know, I could like, get my maker bot out and try to 3D print something with that. It would look diseased <laughs> and it would be on level. And... But uh, try Why to make a nice I one. I programmed to feel pain. Dude, that thing's made out of wood, all right? <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, and to see if I can, what I could get for less than $199. And like, again, uh, the, the, these things are great because like, if you build it yourself, you can customize it. If you don't like the feel of the switches, if you don't like the materials, you can swap it out and make it your controller. Uh, yep. If you don't want, you can muck around with the sizing if you want, if it's too big or too small for your hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, this is going to be a simple build uh, relative. Like if you can hold a soldering iron, halfway steady you're not this is not an involved thing here uh, a couple of micro switches i you, probably an afternoon probably an afternoon to stick one of these together jordan uh pedro you got experience soldering stuff you can look at that and like i think the most complex bit is going to be the amount of uh solder you're going to need on those big holes for the actual buttons because you're going to need a lot of it to make sure they don't move <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, the, the rest of it, as long, uh, even the surface mount one for the, um, those pads are big enough that that's not even an issue. Nope. Just pre-tin them ahead of time and then drop the thing in. It's like, 
Got, got, there, got, 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 got to preempt though in before the leverless joysticks are cheating. Use, use the real controller. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like all, all game pads are uh, cheating. Period. If if you're not using your your eye toy, you have to be using yes, the move. original one the arcade cabinet came with. And if it didn't, it's not a real fighting game. You you had a wheel in the arcade cabinet. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they have to do with that Evo. That was a fascinating thing. I wanted to get uh, some pictures of with uh, first uh, uh, Street Fighter Three. I think Street Fighter Three First Strike. Or first whatever. Strike. Yeah, because like there's all the versions on uh, like Dreamcast. Everything's scuffed. Compared to the mm. original, so they got like a JAMA setup, self-contained, like arcade hardware board, like built into like little machines that they can cart them around. Mm. So everybody was playing on arcade hardware. Fortunately, I'm dumb enough to where I wouldn't notice, <laughs> so I can just yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 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 not good enough for the no. like half second of input delay <laughs> Ignor- actually matters. Ignorance so, is yeah. bliss on that man. Like uh, there's just, like differences in the game, like from I mean, the early days, man. You know. Yeah, where they they were literally different versions of the game. They were, it was a uh, yes, team. they were talking about like you know one company did this and they get uh, I forget for like the PlayStation like yeah they just gave this the source code for the Dreamcast and said here have fun, see if you can figure it out. That was a lot of porting back in the day. It was like someone else got this working on something that wasn't the original <laughs> platform. See if you can replace the hooks. Oh man, I do uh, genuinely like though that it is low using direct input. Instead of uh, I thought you could say input. low profile. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the, the have you seen the again. hitbox, dude? It's like eighteen yes. big max height, dude. <laughs> it's just that this one, the way that the buttons are laid out and everything, that the, that to be just looks like ooh, toesies. <laughs> you, but, you, yeah, you no, and your feet. It's, it's, toes, it's direct it's input. It's uh like PC, PS3, PS4, Switch. Uh, but yeah, no, no, um. Direct X input uh, anywhere to be seen, which is nice. I'm glad someone's not bowing to Microsoft on that one. <laughs> and like, there's you know, like the early revs were. And you can there's uh, the schematics and the boards for everything. We're using an AT Mega uh, Raspberry 2040 for the Rev Four, and you know, just the onboard chips. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for the show but before we get out of here if you got something you want to tell us well i got some news for you previously you'd go to linuxgamegas.com and you'd click on that contact button <clears throat> jordan wow. what did you learn sunday morning i learned that the wonderful piece of software that is the gutenberg <laughs> the, editor the, the glorious wordpress <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Crowd Strike wasn't the only fuck up that got pushed out this week. So, now, if, yeah. you you know me. I don't voluntarily update WordPress. I keep a secure. You know, it's always got security patches. Whatever I'm running, and I was running six, but an early version of six patch for security. Our friend, old Mister Contact Forum, had a security issue, mm. and it has had it for quite a while, and. The dude has decided, which is his right, I'm not paying anything for Contact Form 7, to not update, not to backport that fix. And I'm only one version off of that. Like, fuck it, might as well pull the band-aid off and do that. I do it. We go to WordPress 6.5. All right. This took half a morning, because you get to back everything up. You never know how bad this is going to get. Got that, got the new version of Contact Form, which didn't have a security hole at it doesn't want to work with a caching system. Not having it. It doesn't go through because it's got to go through a backend spam authentication. Wasn't working. So, if you go to the contact form right now, guess what, bitches? Email address. (laughs) (laughs) Well, then. (laughs) Old school. Get it done. Still going to the same place. You just got to fill it out yourself. But, easy way to get a hold to us. Leave a comment in the video and we might feature it right patreon here comments next week we got patreon comments youtube yep. comments odyssey comments <laughs> if you can leave a comment on it Sp- spotify voicemail <laughs> actually no no they got rid of that uh they're wrapping up their podcast stuff i uh i went ahead and just like switched it back over to um the rss feed because you know spotify had the big podcast push right and they mm-hmm. had the voicemail and all that and spotify is like now we're getting rid of all these features and all. i'm like i ain't got time to 
the fucking nightmare interface to get a podcast posted through Spotify <laughs> was like, I dreaded that shit twice a week. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna move it back to the RSS feed. Like if not you've been worth, listening on the stress, no, it's not even worth that fucking headache, man. But we have zero traction on Spotify after like two years. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're still <laughs> downloading. You probably never noticed. And it's like, thank you. That one brave soul. <laughs> Who Thank used you the for voicemail. trying to. Yeah. <laughs> that one time. I'm like, and that was it. So yeah, please leave a fucking YouTube comment and uh we'll holla back, girl. Jordan Jordan made some bold claims last week about uh <laughs> how he might service you. Or yeah, treat I, you after a servicing. Yeah. Yeah, Dim Dimco is quite upset. He says this dude, not Pedro and not Ven. I'm, I'm, I'm that dude. I'm one of, I'm one of the five <laughs> dudes, by the way. Just FYI. Uh, he said dude. that he would make us breakfast as a listener. He didn't say anything about getting us a ta uh, taxi. What does he think we are? Cheap Eastern European listener knockoffs or something? Also, it'd be, it could be that Artifact is now suddenly popular because you can get cool trading card collection. Get cool trading card collection cards? Are people FOMOing? I I th I, th I think we we came to the conclusion that it was the sus line that was it was bots it was all bots. We but listen, want to believe. But listen, it is not my job to get you back to your house. If you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna show up, I will cook you a nice meal. But you're not that, gonna, that's all that's, you that's all you're getting. You're not gonna get like changed. You're not you're not gonna call an Uber. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's that's that. That's 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 their problem. I'm not, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kick you out. Or if I do, I'll just be like, you know, leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jordan's like, I'm not gonna call you, but you can stay. <laughs> you, you, you can you, stay forever. <laughs> you can stay if you want, and then you become dinner for the next person. Hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, Breakfast I, I now has uh, some. Uh, I would, I would love to have you for <laughs> I don't know, man. Like the artifact thing. It, let's, you know what? Let, let's just uh, take a peek real quick. We are already running long, but I want to see. <laughs> Has it fallen off yet? Do you think? Steam charts. 2,500. Steam nah, I think it's still around 2,500. <laughs> <laughs> Linux Gamecast 622, the Steam chart episode. Oh, dude. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> oh, hang on. Where are you at? Church. Perp. Ah, shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we did 2200. Then we, oh, I guess 2400. Went was the back magic to 2500 and then um, <laughs> they all got banned. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're back to the original um, so, 23. I, I, so what, what you're saying is I made the right choice to get back into magic instead of trying to get into artifacts. <laughs> yes. You know what? Uh, I'm going to take uh, responsibility for, uh, for for ratting out all those yep. bot accounts. 100. percent It was our show uh, <laughs> last week that uh, caused us. You're welcome, internet uh -huh. community. You're, you're welcome, <laughs> artifact users. Yeah, artifact players. All all two of you. 26. There's 26 online right now. So. <laughs> no, the, the, it, it it's two people with 13 accounts each. That's oh, <laughs> yeah, right. The Smurfs, yeah, okay, it's just a Smurf battle, right? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. Somebody, like, uh, if you're running the bot, fucking why? I want to know. Like, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I won't narc you out or anything. Just like, give me the reasoning. Fine. Like, what were you accomplishing? You ever get curious about stuff like that? You know, like, so, but, so, and then sometimes you're like, do you really want to know the answer? Yes. When it's Stuff that I just cannot make sense of, you know, like we were talking about, like, I think we've all finally agreed upon, like, that's what was going on with like the thousand dollar Steam games, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff like that. I'm like, I, just, like, whisper me, man. I'm like, oh, huh. Fascinating. That's the Fascinating. thing. Look, Fascinating. Yeah. The, the article we covered at the time um, said that maybe it's, uh, retribution or someone trying to prove to Valve that you still suck even after they banned all the bots from TF2. They just went to another Valve game. It's like, ha you still suck. And, and then, then and Valve then they all got takes banned. a week. It's like, no, that's just bot accounts. <laughs> I, the slap fight continues. Dude, can you imagine like being that butthurt? You're like, you're, you're going to go after Artifact, the game with 20 players? You're like, I'm going to bot that. 
<laughs> l- l- listen, if if being on the internet for like 20 years has taught me anything, there is no limit to the amount of butt hurt people can experience. That guy bought every single Rosalina amiibo to destroy them just because he hated the character. You know what? Like, Casey might have yet another theory that falls under plausibles, but it could be trading AI. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're trading an AI, to, yeah, twenty five hundred instances running at any one time, like a uh, to to play artifact generational AI thing, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it was a university project. That's like who knows? You know? yeah. I mean, we we want to assume like it could have been a project like that. And they're like, all right, we're done. Click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, a button that does still work over on Linux Gamecast is our support page where you can help finance this train wreck each and every week. We have a Patreon, we have LibrePay, PayPal, Bitcoin, and of course, Amazon wishlist. If you want to pick us up something, we've got a merch store and an Amazon storefront. But if you become one of our beautiful party patrons, you get this show live and uncut in your RSS feed the next day. That's right. You get custom RSS feeds for patrons. You get this is a downloadable video, no commercials, nothing to worry about. If you don't want to deal with YouTube or wherever else you may consume this. And you get some sneak previews, things we're working on. You know, just a bunch of thank yous. But the really cool thing is, we don't put our documentation in Discord, but we still fuck around there the other six days of the week. That's our Slack. That's us. We don't have a side, a side snake. <laughs> if you want to see the three of us communicating, <laughs> that's where we're at with the beginning of all of our beautiful people. And uh, you can also get in our Discord with uh, Twitch sub. If you didn't know about that, yeah, link it up. I can't tell you how to do that. Bucks. Use it, yeah. Bing it real quick or Google it or duck it. Stick it together. Come play some Track Mania with us. We got a private Track Mania server we do on Tuesdays and Fridays. It's always a great time. And uh, yeah, thanks for your support. That's brilliant. There we go. Uh, Pedro's got some uh, thank you stuff. I have to thank uh, Artharen for uh, <laughs> gifting me Silaco, which I was going to buy once it was done with early access, but Arthur is like, no, you're you like this game, so uh, go play it. Uh, it's the uh, boomer oh, shooter. Right, right, yeah, I, like, I, I, I know the name for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was something else. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Arthur, and very much appreciation. I gotta thank Aldius. He uh, sent me a gift copy of the Outer Worlds on Steam. Oh, nice. I'm playing it on the, on the on the Epic Store with the Space Destroyer Edition, but. Again, Maybe Aldius was tired the- of watching you play Outer Worlds and not getting achievements. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't I don't know. Uh he did he did he did message me on Steam after the facts. And, you know, just just a reminder, that's the worst pl- way to get in touch with us. <laughs> do it do it in Discord. Aldius, if you still want to talk, Discord. Um Yeah, but Thank you for the for the OG Outer Worlds. And a reminder, I should probably go and clean up my wish list so that uh, people don't buy me stuff I already have. But I do I do appreciate that now I have an actual copy of the Outer Worlds in case the epic games evaporate, because they will. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Oh that bombshell. Let's cue the music. You can always find this show kicking off right here at our new time, 30 minutes early. Why? Because we're getting older cats to deal with it. 8 p.m. Eastern. Right here, twitch.tv forward slash Linux Game Guest. If you want to just get in touch with me, yeah, I'm in Discord. Like, we're actually in Discord talking. We're not like, you know, on an ivory cat tower made of side snakes. <laughs> no, we're just talking shit back and forth in our Discord. Um, you can send me an email. You can figure it out. You can send the show an email. If you want to get in touch with the show, hit me up in the comments. Go to interfacinglinux.com if you got some audio video questions, problem solving. Also, uh, one of our patrons here is like, how do I do headless OBS? And I'm like, that's impossible without a little bit of engineering, and I show them how to do it. Now, always glad to help you out. Uh, get in touch with me at Vinstone on X. Going to give it to you. And uh, just Vin on Mastodon at Vin at Mastodon.com. I'm Jordan. I'm your top snake. I won't be your side snake. I'm snake number one. You can find me slithering around the internet on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodon.com at Frojo at bsky.app or at the burning fool on Twitter. And I am by far the Floppy least snake. dangerous noodle. Uh, feel free to uh, follow me on Mastodon. That's unaccounted for with the actual number for at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Um, I promise you, you um, I don't step on snacks and what uh, is, I would appreciate what it, it what if is, you didn't step on me either. <laughs> what is the most non-threatening pasta? Pedro stepping only steps on controllers. <laughs> that that looks like it's made for toes. <laughs> Step on me, daddy. 
Falcon sensor, baby. Ha ha! Crowd strike! Crowd strike! <laughs> <laughs> I Crowd see what you did there. Let's that win this jokes. game cast. We got to thank our advisors: Omega Star, Thermark, Executive, Executive Producers: Bart Bram, Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, Dave, Eship, Ian, Kruducky, One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Hoplo. Drummer and our little Nikki fans, Super Desto and Empty, Glorious Eggy, Tuber Tree Sloth, and And to see monsters with no Rider X Machina, Trudgy for Attendant, Justin Darkwing, System D, Dunsing Joe, DeCresney, Ogie One, and Frostclaw, Headed Death Notes, Nova Chat, Romeo, Rene, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2 Lot Watt, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, Schwein, Jalou, and Piper. Ooh. And, and all of the ch lovely, lovely chairlings. Find up standard cannibals like the Carl, <laughs> Mike, Arthur, and Linux Nero, Aldius, Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, Game and Tron, you know it, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Deb, and Kai Jorai. Thank you for picking up stuff for the studio. I do appreciate that. Side snakes and all, baby. <laughs> Bottom snake. Tune in next week for some hot foot controller action. And we'll see Le you there. Left snake, right snake, AB start select snake. Uh, drunk snake, bite snake. It's the, it's the Konami snake. <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, hiss, hiss. Yep. Hiss, hiss. Dynafire, everyone. See you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>